What's up guys and welcome to the video. Ryan here again with the MXG channel and this is something a little unorthodox for me but I wanted to give you guys a first or more like a second impressions video of the new MX game. It's MX versus ATV Legends. Uh, I believe the last one was all out and uh, obviously for starters guys I'm no expert on these games. You know I uh, don't get to play near as much as I used to but I've been dabbling in some Monster Energy 4 uh, this winter, and I wanted to. I, I thought I would get some five, get Monster Energy Five, and I never got around to it. And then I found out that uh, Legends was coming out, and I was excited because I kind of liked All Out. I was kind of digging it. Um, to be honest, I think the perfect game would be something like a mixture between MX vs ATV and Monster Energy Supercross. But uh, I, I've held off on Supercross Five, and I grabbed Legends, and I've been playing it, and it's been. Interesting to say the least. We're at Red Bud here in this video, taking this left, getting ready to head um, to Larocco's Leap, and you see there just kind of spun off the track. And uh, that's one of the things I want to talk about today. But this game, this always happens with the motocross games, guys. People get them, and they catch so much hell on the first day they're out um, because, you know, the differences between the last game. And this one happened especially so, and I'll tell you because I downloaded this um, on you know the, the very hour released. I had it ready to play, and this thing was super glitchy, guys. I'm talking like um, you would hit spots in the track, and you'd kind of bounce, and sometimes that you'd just drop a bunch of frames, and it would skip, and um, it had a bunch of glitchiness to it. And people were pretty upset there. But within the first day, and that's why I didn't do a first impressions video right off the bat. Because within the first day, they actually already did an update, which fixed a lot of those little glitchy sections. So here we are now. We're moving to Thunder Valley. And that's what's cool. So that's what I want to mention first. When you fire this game up for Xbox or you go to the store to buy it, you're given three options. You can get the base game which is 39 bucks, which I was pleasantly surprised at um, since a lot of new games are like 69 um, You can get the base game for 39 There's a up, there's a, a bundle you can get that's like 69 or for $80 you can get like the Ultimate Pass, which is what I did. And the reason I did it is because it gives you the AMA Pro Motocross Nationals as well as um, all the OEM motorcycles. And to me, guys... Being able to race the, uh, you know, replica AMA Pro Motocross tracks, to me, that's a lot of the fun. So it made sense to me to grab that. It may not for you. 80 bucks is a lot to drop on a moto game. Here's another way I think about it, guys, is I want to support motocross. I want to support dirt bikes. And if somebody's, you know, if, if there's a studio that's putting all the effort in to make one of these games... Yes, even though it might not turn out perfect or how we like, um, I'm going to support it because I want them to keep making dirt bike and motorcycle themed games. Um, you know, we can give them our feedback. Hopefully they can get one dialed in like Reflex or something used to be back in the day. But, you know, if we keep buying them or if we stop buying them, we ask for refunds and stuff like that. Um, you know, they might stop stop making them all together and that's not what we want we're already niche enough so all right guys so let's talk about the first time i fired this game up as we roll around thunder valley here uh i was a little uh kind of sickened that i just dropped 80 dollars, and uh that was because i just couldn't it was so weird like if you fire up career mode you start off on a 125 two stroke and like in this what you're watching right now i'm on a 450 and that's one one thing I think that maybe a lot of these creators don't understand. I, I firmly believe that if you're going to start this game, instead of starting out on a, on a 125 and working your way up to a 450, you should start out on a 450, like a 450 amateur setup or something, and work your way up to the pros and at some point, um, go, you know, at some point ride a 125, but... These tracks are extreme. Even you know, even the tracks that the game uh, supplies are extremely hard on 125s, guys. 125s and even the 250s are slow on this game. You have a lot more fun riding the 450. Um, and I think, I think starting people off in career mode on a 125 
turns a lot of people off. It's true, you can just fire up Exhibition and play on a 450 or whatever, but uh, I don't know. It's just annoying when you're holding the throttle and you're not going anywhere. So that was really weird. Uh, 125 power absolutely sucks. You should start with a 450. Uh, next, I just want to talk about the traction really quick. Traction, it seems like maybe they changed it in the update, but it's really weird. It's like spots in the track are nothing but glass, and, and you just slide. You'll slide right off the track. And then other places, it seems like you can get a little bit of traction. Um, I don't know. You kind of have to blip the throttle and power slide all the corners. Um, it's really hard to just grab traction and go. I think this is one of those games where you you really do have to slow down to go fast, which is fine except for that I feel like I'm going so slow when I slow down on this game, it doesn't feel right. It feels like you're going way too slow. Uh, it takes some of the fun out of it. You'll see some of these corners and stuff. You just got to slow way down. I don't know. It's super weird. Um, I'm on the 450 here at Thunder Valley. And also what I mentioned, you're on a 450, if you can keep your momentum, you can pretty much clear all the obstacles um, on the moto tracks and most of the supercross tracks without preload or seat bounce. Um, you know, one stick does preload, one stick does seat bounce is what they call it, and you use them both together to get the most, you can get the most bounce out of it and get the longest clearance. Um, on a 450, you pretty much don't have to do that, which is uh, which is pretty nice. But there's something else I want to talk about, and it's the clutch. So if you come to a stop in some of these corners or if you try to, like, scrub a wall, you'll almost come to a stop. And when you try to get going again, um, a lot of times you can't without slipping the clutch. Now, this makes sense kind of on a 125, um, but, like, you can be on a 450 and you can – kind of come to a stop and you're trying to go again and it takes forever to pull out if you don't slip the clutch which is just annoying so to get the most time um, even if you're riding a 450 to get the most time um, saved you're gonna have to be slipping the clutch out of almost every tight corner guys it's uh which is a little weird all right so let's move on to high point here i'm trying to show you i've showed you red bud i showed you thunder valley i'm going to show you high point here now if you'd like to see extended clips to see complete laps and stuff of these tracks i'm dropping all those videos over on the rti power sports channel so um, i'll put a link down below if you guys want to watch any um, complete clips from over there but uh yeah so back to the 450 clutch um i just feel like they could easily uh you know customize it to where the 450 you never have to touch the clutch like it's it's makes no sense to need to because you don't need to in real life um and then make the 125 super benefit from clutch and make the 250f somewhere you know 250f or 250 somewhere in the middle uh, i don't think that's out of the realm of possibility of video games um we talked about the traction and the sliding there's also a weird thing when you're coming around some of these turns you'll hit the edge of turns or something a certain way and you'll just bounce like you've hit a i mean like you've hit a pogo stick or something uh it's really weird sometimes you'll just bounce off the track um sometimes you'll just bounce up really high it's uh it's odd to say the least hopefully that's something they can fix in the update and I haven't looked in the settings to see if you can uh, turn dust off yet. Uh, the dust is not, I mean, the dust is a pretty cool thing when it's just like you riding. But when you get a couple people in front of you, the dust is kind of just annoying, to be honest. <coughs> big, uh, it's that big quad there at high point. I, I like the high point on here. It's one of my favorites. I think Paula is my favorite throw. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, now, one thing I have to note is that you can customize your bikes on this game and it looks like you can you know according to the to the progress bars it looks like you can make your traction twice as good and your you know your handling twice as good and your power like it looks like there's a a lot of improvement i have not done any of that yet so once i do once i've logged some hours in this game played it for a few weeks i'll make an updated video and let you know i know in games i've played in the past um, once you completely upgraded your bike it was like an entirely different game it was so much more fun you could stick in some corners and 
rail some stuff and then once you can get traction and rail some stuff that's when you can start playing with different lines and carrying momentum and really uh having fun with your lap times uh so yeah what do i like about this game well i like the look um the rider and the bike look okay i feel like they could have put a little more shadow or something into it and made it look a little more realistic um Monster Energy Supercross has done a really good job at that. Um, but that stuff doesn't bother me. Like, I'm not a, hey, this this thing should have insane graphics because Assassin's Creed has insane graphics. Like, it's a racing game. Um, and I'll tell you what's annoyed me a lot about racing games in the past are rider position. And that's something they, I think they nailed in this game. Uh, the rider, the, the rider position looks wonky in some of the other newer games, guys. But in this one, it looks pretty good. He's not doing anything crazy. He's pretty centered in a nice, aggressive position on the bike. Um, when you turn here, it, I mean, he leans, but nothing crazy like they have on past games. He looks good in the air. Looks realistic. Only thing I don't like is sometimes when you case something. His elbows come up really high, and it looks kind of stupid, but uh, it probably does when you case stuff in real life, too. So uh, I think they nailed the rider position with this game uh, for sure. Uh, I also like the environment, and you can't tell as much on these pro tracks. Um, I mean, they, they, they do look good. I love to see the rigs and the haulers. Uh, the dirt, the looks of the dirt and stuff. You know, did great, and they have the uh, water truck roads on the side, and uh, the hot air balloons are a nice taste for you know a nice taste for sure. Um, but what I really like are like the environments out in the free ride, and you know they have trails on this game. And I'm going to show you some of those in some other videos, guys. Um, but I mean, you just go out and kind of just ride the trails and explore and find some hucks and jumps and. Um, that's what we all kind of like to do once we get a little burnout on the grind of racing on here. So I will show you all that stuff in a different video, show you the UTVs, quads, stuff like that. But uh, the game looks great, especially out in those off-road environments. Right, so leaving High Point here, I'm going to show you um, Hangtown and then Paula, which is probably my favorite real quick here before we get towards the end of the video and some of you guys might be asking me by this point if you've made it this far you're probably a loyal subscriber to the channel i appreciate you guys uh, you probably ask me why i uh, have been dropping less videos lately or am making um you know video game videos and that's because uh we just had our uh, second son last week he's a week old today and uh, you have spent a lot of time in the living room in front of the TV, which is another reason I picked up this game. Uh, it just kind of made sense with the timing. So uh, it's hard for me to get out on this bike, on, on the, the real bike this week and next week. So uh, I figured I'd play the game and tell you guys about it for sure. And, uh, you know, I grew up playing games like this, and I, I love them. I don't have as much time to do it anymore. But, uh, you know, a lot of you guys, I think, want some impressions from somebody that doesn't eat, sleep, and breathe these games. Um, you know, somebody that just plays them occasionally when they can. My four-year-old is grown up a little bit and is able to play these pretty well now. So um, we'll be playing them more in the future. So that's why I'm dropping um, some videos on this. So I hope you like them. hope you will stick around. Here's Hangtown. I can't really decide on Hangtown. I, I couldn't tell how much I liked it. Um, I definitely like all the real pro national tracks uh, better than the tracks that come on the game. The tracks that come on the game are cool. They're unique. They have some really cool features, but just something about seeing the rigs and, you know, seeing the Yamaha tent and like, um, all the people, I don't know, something about playing on these tracks just makes it more of a fun game for me. This kind of, this section uphill was brutal. You had to rail the outside and really keep your, uh, momentum up to get up there. Uh, Another thing I feel like they nailed with this game is the like the ratio, the sizing. Um, back in the day, a lot of the games we used to play, like the bike was pretty small compared to the tracks. The tracks were huge. Remember the original MX vs. ATV games where the triples are just huge and the track seems like it's 150 feet wide. Um, and then as the games got uh, more modern, it seemed like the track got too narrow. And it was annoying, and you couldn't even race without hitting the uh, AI. And 
they've really nailed it in this one. I think the track size to bike size ratio is about perfect. So you can ride with the AI and not get bumped off the track, and you can race with somebody, um, but it's not it's not too too big. So I think they they got that just perfect. And look at this wall here. So I'd try everything. I'd lock up the brakes, try to scrub that wall, and just bounce off the track about every time, which is really weird. All right, now we're moving to Paula Fox Raceway. Oh, this, I played this one a lot in the very beginning, and I really kind of liked it. It has some fun fun spots. you come, you got to go wide here so that you can keep your momentum up this dragon back thing, and then you can clear that one. And you got a tabletop here. Another thing to mention is I turned off Pro Physics. If you play a lot and you are really in tune with your controller or whatever, you probably like Pro Physics. Um, I hope to move back to Pro Physics at some point, but for a guy like me, doesn't get to play much. It's just easier to turn off the Pro Physics. Another thing is I turned off. Uh, I love that double, this double triple right here. Uh, another thing is I turned off manual transmission too. Um, just didn't want to worry about it while I'm trying to play the game. It took me a second to realize why my bike would speed up and then it would seem to rev out and slow down and then I saw I was not leaving first gear. So that comes turned on in the settings so make sure you turn that off if you don't want it. <coughs> I really like this track. It's pretty fun. I love seeing those desert hills in the background. I think they look great. So yeah, as we finish our lap up here at Paula, I want to thank you guys for your support and, uh, you know, smash the like button and leave a comment down below and let me know if you uh, like these games or you like videos like this. I'm sure I'll get a bunch of dislikes from anybody that doesn't. Those are, those are fine too, but uh, I don't know. This, is, uh, this game is the newest Moto game. It's super relevant to the industry right now, and uh, I wanted to tell you guys my... See that little bounce right there? Oh, that's so annoying to tell you guys uh my first impressions which are really kind of my second impressions so if you bought the game you didn't like it turn it off take a break um come back later and see what you think all right guys i'll do some more videos as i get some hours in this game thanks so much i'll see you in the next one